Good evening. Good evening. This is the Toka hand drum from the Toka company, T-O-C-A. And you can buy this from Amazon, Sweetwater, Reverb, Guitar Center, Sam Ash Music, or wherever you go to purchase your musical instruments. So the first thing you'll notice about this hand drum is that it's small enough to make it portable. And it's tuned by these strings that you see here going all around the drum. And it's wound pretty tight. And it also has a part here that you can use it to carry. It does come with a case. This one that I bought secondhand did not come with a case. And if you buy it new, you should understand that the price is anywhere from $40 to $60, depending on where you get it from. And on top of that, you might want to add shipping and handling. It's very light. I would say it's maybe, I don't know, maybe two to three pounds, but uh, it makes it, I don't know, a little sturdier. It's not super light, but it's light enough that you can attach it to your bag. You can take with you. And uh, let's say you just want to go somewhere, let's say a drum circle, but you don't want to carry a lot in your bag. You can toss this in your bag. You can put it inside a carrying case if you have one for it. And it's light enough that it actually probably weighs less than the weight of, of a laptop or something like that. So next thing we want to see is how it sounds. And this is the inside of it. And it's about one foot, I would say. And here's the hollowness of it. That's one sound you get from it. And I would not want to travel with this in the rain. I, the top will get damaged. The sides, probably not so much. But here's our sounds again. Here's a flat or something. But if you move your fingers, just let it rest a little lighter and the snap on it. And you can also, of course, you can rest it on your leg and your thigh. So it produces a pretty big sound. It's probably loud enough to disturb your neighbor if you live in a city apartment, but not loud enough so that you are overpowering a band if you're playing with them or at a drummer circle. But if you get your chance to go about your solo, it will produce a nice sound if you hit it somewhere towards the middle. So let's say you want to hold your own rally or I don't know, some kind of protest for the inclusion of more music in public spaces. I don't know, maybe you're into that. And this is a nice drum. Another thing I can say about this drum is that the Toka company has been around for a long time. And with my experience with them, they have pretty good customer service in regards to replacing drums or getting strings that you need to tune it. Another thing that you, um, I already said, don't get it wet. Uh, if you bump it, I don't believe that if I drop this, it will necessarily break right away. But I've seen some drums that have a hole in the middle and that's because let's say they were, people were moving and they've broken in the process of moving or they become wet and someone has bumped into it or stabbed into it while it was wet. So, and Toka Company does have the drum heads available. A lot of drums, let's say the ones that you buy in Egypt, you can't necessarily easily replace the ceramic porcelain drum heads uh, from a local store, like a uh, local retail store, chain store like Sam Ash or Guitar Center. But these you can, and Toka will, Toka 
token for question is pretty good for um, dealing with its customers. They have a good reputation. They've been around for a while. If you're looking for something with a bigger sound or a more rich sound, I would get a bigger one. But again, the bigger you go with this drum, it's going to affect the portability of it. So if you got this drum because you wanted to make it portable, then don't get the bigger one. Again, this is how big it is. It's reasonably light. I can probably get one of those snap carabiners and snap it to my belt or to my hiking bag or even my camera bag if I want to play after I do some photography. And it's pretty nice. the sound is coming out of it. Some of you like to hit it and put your hand in it and have a echo bass sound come out of it. And that's fine too. As you see, I do it again. And if you really want some good drum instruction, please contact Joseph Tyun, who is a master drummer. And by master drummer, I'm talking about djembe drum, I'm talking about the doombeck drum, darbuka, even a smaller hand percussion like this. The man works wonders with his, he just has a skill for the instrument. Joseph Tayun, that's jo Joseph and T-A-Y-O-U-N. Look him up. He's based out of Philadelphia. Okay, if you have any questions about this drum, please feel free to reach out. To me and like many of you have been doing feel free to engage and ask questions and talk about any other product that you want reviewed I do my best to get that to you as soon as possible sometimes it's later than sooner I also am a photographer if you want portraits if you want event photography if you want anything that involves technology too. I am available for that and I can be hired for that. My information is on the bottom of this video. If it's not there, it will be there shortly. And this has been the Toka Percussion Hand Drum. It also comes in different colors. That way, some you might want it in blue, you might, might want it in a brighter red, but here it is. All right, thank you. I will see you next video. Bye.